friends <clears throat> so welcome to the smart Exceler. this video i'll be telling you about attendance log and how to maintain attendance log and what are the correct formulas to be used in an attendance log suppose this is my attendance sheet so i have the employee name and i have the employee id employee id so what I have just short me so that I can so that is not important for me so I'm teaching you how to use the formula is important so if you want to see that the standard time is 10 hours and 8 to 6 so there is a cutoff before 8 15 if you are entering the premises it is going to be uh, it will not be considered as late so after 8 15 so after 8 16 it will be considered as late. Now I want to see that how many people, the main thing of making this video, I want to see how many people are coming on time and not getting over time. And I want to see how many people are getting coming on time and taking over time. And uh, in the same way, the voice versa is how many people are coming late and there's no over time. And how many people are coming late and also getting in over time. So this is the purpose of making this video so it will be helpful in different scenarios so there will be different terminologies in each premises or each organizations so just to make it easy i have just created this template so the normal formula is if you want to see 10 now you have to find thread this is formula for time and this is the timing and this is the time cut off and uh, time this is after it's thing will be calculated as over time so the time formula is for standard hours is equals to time open parenthesis. So it is hours, so I get 10 and minutes will be 0 and 0. So you can see it is 10 hours. So I'll be completing over here also as 816. So 16. So 816. So 816 a.m. 8, is, is the final instance. So after 816, after 815, so it will calculate as a late. So you are a late comer if you come after 815. So the simple way is just you have to do this uh, D, uh, this minus, so this is a bigger value, so this minus this. So you will get the things on board. So it will be calculated. But now the problem is if somebody is giving 10 hours, exactly 10 hours, so it's a regular timing. Someone is working beyond 10 hours, so about 10 hours, this has to be calculated here in as a over time. And uh, this all all this will be over time. But apart from that, I want to see that who uh, the four criteria are over time and on time and over time. Time over and over time, late and more time and late and over time. So to, for checking that, I'm making this as a regular. So the regular is 10 hours. So I see somebody who is coming beyond regular. I, but here also I can I can make out from here also. But specifically I want to see it in regular hours. So it will be like if condition if. F3, so this is F3, so I'll be logging the cells as row is so the logging signature will be coming F4, you have to hit uh, three times. That's F3, sorry, F3, open the parenthesis. So F3 is greater than, is greater than, this is the standard time. So I'll be fixing this because I want this to be completely fixed, so it will be locked here. F4 I have to do one time. Then I have to take this as uh, if F3 uh, if E is greater than M, then I have to take this as M1. Again, I will be locking this. Else it will be taking the lowest from here. If it, if it is 10, it will be taking this. If it is lesser than 10, it will be taking this only. So it will be like. 
and I will log in the server. One, two, and three. And we're closing the parenthesis. So you can see it's showing regular hours. So if it is lower than this showing lower, but what automatically if the things are with uh, uh, over 10 hours it is showing as regular hours. So these people are on regular hours and these are in irregular hours. Now I want to check the overtime. So to, ch to check the overtime, I have to see that a difference in regular hours and total hours. So it is going to be like if open parenthesis. We'll see the whole time if if f3 i'll be locking the cells one two three comma oh, if f3 is greater than is greater than e3 again i will lock in the cells In the value if it is true then i want to have f3 minus g3 so this minus this so for that i will be making one more parenthesis f3 minus g3 G3. They don't have to put the parameters uh, of uh, uh, dollar signatures here, but still, I'll be calculate. I'll be taking this in a different uh, note. So that's the reason I'm doing this is closing this. And if the value is false, then it will be a zero. So we are checking the overtime. If it is greater than this, it will be total hours, or if it is uh, less than 10 hours, it will be calculating as a zero. So it's same here. So you can see the word time here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And here. Now you can see that the time is been calculated, but still we have to check that are there in the late commas. So we need to check the remarks column. So if you want to check the remarks column, it will be like equals to. So the late comers, as I told you, is already the timing over here. Timing over here. So we have to calculate this timing means this. So if open parenthesis. D3. Let me pick F4 three times. Is greater than this. So I'll be locking this in over here completely. Then it will be considered as late. Or what will be considered as on time. So when I'm writing a, a text, we have to put a in double inverted commas. So on time. So B3 is greater than zero this time, it's late, or it is will be on time. So it's continuing on time now. Eight fifteen will be on time, but eight thirty late. So if I pull it down, I can see how many on time and how many late comers are there. Now, if I want to see if there is overtime or no overtime, overtime or it should be no overtime. So, so checking that also, I'll be using a condition. 
be like this. This value. So let me allow this cells is greater than zero. If it is greater than zero, then it will be a over time. Else, if it is less than zero, it is. And if it is less than zero, then this is less than, this is less than or equal to zero, then then it will be considered no over time. And just hit enter. Let me put a space over here. And let me make this easy. Okay. There is no overtime over here. So once you print start filling it down, you will come to me. So whatever is the greater amount there will be overtime and there will be no overtime. So if you feel that this two columns are extra columns and you don't want to uh, have these two columns, so you can have a single word as one time and no overtime like this. One time and no overtime. So you can make these two formulas together or if you want a single column on that what you can do is you can go here copy the formula control c like this control v And then you put a uh, and and then you can copy the other formula. So uh, you can do one more thing is you can just paste the formula over here and you go to here, copy the formula, control C and paste it here. Now you can copy the space with the formula. So you can do is equals to first copy this control C and paste the formula over here and then and hit enter. So if your one formula is there, then you can go. And copy the formula again. Control C. In the same, you can just then and Control V. Now you have what's wrong? But the problem is you have you should have a space over here. So what you can do is you can make a double quotes space double quotes and put one more and. So now you can see what the formulas you can just remove this. So you can just pull it down and uh, same like this. You can copy this. Sorry, copy uh, this control remarks and put here as a remark. And, uh, that's why if you do a dollar signature and all, so you don't want other columns so if you want you can delete this column also so now you can make it simple and in this way you can see the attendance sheet is ready and how to make this attendance sheet is a thing which I showed you and apart from that you can put conditional formattings you can see that if you want to put late and all time you can go to conditional formatting new rules and uh, you can see that for cells and specific test if you can just control uh, on us if something is like late and no over time and uh, something is on late you can give some specific test as 
you can make this as a reading so new rule and if it contains l a t a a t e then you can set a format You can make this as a red or even with red text also. So if you select all manager rules, you can edit this. Select this all. And then clear rules and now we go to formatting. New rule and specific text. Click create. And go to automatic view. Import text and OK. So whatever is late will be. Highlighted so we can see that the guys are in the danger zone. So I hope this video is found you found is useful and uh, the logic behind using if conditions has been used over here. So if you put the dollar signs, uh, when you use a dollar sign, so we can reduce one column. So this is the purpose of using making this video. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to this channel and share this video so that many people can reap the benefits of using the attendance sheets. So hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.